Hey, what's up, people of the YouTube? It's Boy here, and back with another tutorial. Today, we'll be talking about copyrighted content whenever your video gets flagged for different things. But more specifically, if your videos get flagged with visual content, if you ever get like flagged for music, you're usually fine. The only thing is you cannot like monetize it because uh, the music goes to, you get ads on your video, but the revenue goes to the music licensor and stuff like that. So usually you're fine. But if your video gets flagged for video content, it usually happens like this, blocked in some countries. Your videos can't be played. Yeah, Australia, Mexico, New Zealand, South Korea, and United States. And when you get most of your use from United States, that's a bad sign. So I'm going to be talking about today how you avoid getting visual content whenever you do AMVs. If you ever get the music ones, you're usually fine. I mean, you can look at my copyright notices. I have quite a few, uh, to say the least. But most of them are just music, so I can't monetize them. You can still view them and all those things all over the world, but I can't monetize them. That's a win for me at least, since people get to watch my content, even though I don't make money of it. But sometimes when you get like visually visual content flagged, this can happen. Blocked worldwide. This is a video with almost 26,000 views and it got like blocked worldwide. I don't know how many months after I posted it. Uh, and I didn't go back to fix it because it's an old video. If YouTube wants to block it, fine, block it. It makes me kind of sad, but that happens. Other times when you have music, it, this can happen. Muted due to copyrighted content. So there's no music in this AMV. And an AMV without music is just anime playing in different order, I guess. <laughs> so that can happen with music so make sure when you pick music you don't get that but most of the time you're pretty safe using music but whenever you get the visual content and you get blocked in countries and sometimes even worldwide how do you avoid it well the system kind of checks every 15 or 20 seconds sometimes up towards a 30 seconds if like the content matches something they have in their database or whatever i mean this is a automatic system so whenever you upload it this gets flagged instantly for like video content and the uh, video gets blocked i mean whenever i did this amv the from sword art online specifically this got blocked every single time i uploaded it the actual fixes took longer than the edit so yeah i don't know how many it was but like uh, we can see maybe in the folders over here I think it was like 15 or 16. Uh, final boss battle AMV fix 15. It took 15 different edits for me to finally nail it. So it w wasn't uh, blocked. So as you can see right here, this is the blocked version. Some of you haven't watched this because it's blocked. And this is the other one. You can see the visual content down here is not present in this one. So yeah, how do you avoid this? Uh, I did a little bit of... I had like a period I edited a lot with the uh, Sword Art Online. I even did the uh, Snake Eyes one. I didn't care it got flagged, so I just posted it anyway. So you can see the visual content. It's matching the entire video. For this one, it was only one minute. One minute and one seconds to two minutes and five seconds. I don't want the other one didn't have anything at all. Um, so it was around this part right here where I have the it's selected where it starts so i'm just gonna mute it a bit and play it back so it's right around here when the fighting starts so basically what it was was i didn't edit enough to make the system think that it was edited it think it thought i uploaded the video to youtube so it like flagged it for like oh you can't don't post it here that's copyrighted material but i did edit with it just not enough. I didn't speed it up enough or I didn't edit like two different clips fast enough. So that's what I had to do to fix it. Um, so basically if I go into Premiere Pro right here and do like this, this is the original video. You can see everything is mostly on video track one, some parts over here. This is also around where the uh, copyright starts. 
Uh, but if you go to my fixed version over here, as you can see, I ended up adding a lot of different stuff at different parts. And also what I did was, I'm just going to go back again, you can see nothing, some stuff. What I also did was adding different transitions, exposure, uh, exposure switch pans, um, right around here. As you can see, these are the same ones, but these are just cross dissolves. I basically just added more transition that made it more blurry or like more movement in the transitions to make the like system thinks that it was not the, just the regular one. I even like I had some parts where I just added uh, transitions to have them. As you can see right after this thing with here where he's talking, I added some more exposure things. Those are not present here in the regular version. Version. There are no transitions, and then the other thing starts up here. Basically, what it is, it checks every like 20 or 30 seconds if it's like copyrighted content. So if you make sure to like edit away from the clip, the longer clip, or just yeah, add more things to it, the system won't recognize it that much. What I also did was another video with the words. Just uh, I just had fun with it. This didn't get flagged. And it was because I added like an effect that made a, like a vignette it's called, like a dark border around it. I'm gonna play it right here and just show you. It's like a dark border around it and added some other like the high contrast and stuff like that. And it actually didn't get flagged. I have no idea if it's just my editing or it was the vignette doing it. I didn't go back and try it again. But that might be something to look into, adding like a darker border around it. If you want like, I'm gonna show you like more in detail. I set this up having the fixed version on the left and the original version on the right. I'm just gonna go through like all the different edits I made. So I'm, I'm gonna play it back. I'm gonna stop a lot of different things. I don't want it to get uh, copyright strike this tutorial so I'm just gonna go play back and talk over it a bit so this is right around the start when they it's building up to the fight um, as you can see the, the transitions are gonna start happening right around here yeah you saw one there and one there and then also now when the fighting starts you're gonna see more flashes and like it becomes blurry in between things and and also then this part over here when after, yeah, when Shinon's going down the route, there's gonna be a lot of different uh, things going on, and you will see it happening right over here. So let's play this back again. Flashes, blurriness, and now we're completely off. We're back, but then we're off again since this was the part where this was the part where the automatic system was hitting like oh my god red alert red alert this is just somebody uploading the movie to youtube so i was tinkering around a lot with this editing a lot of different stuff a lot of stuff didn't even work because it just thought this was the part where it was a movie not an a and b i had to do a, do a bunch of different stuff and you'll see if i continue this i had to re-edit all of this sync it up once again to match at some parts and then we're kind of back now yep it's the same but again the transitions are different you see on the fixed version over here there's a lot of swishing and blurriness and this is just there's no transitions at all on this one so yep we're back and this is pretty much synced up until after Astana over here I added a different clip in the fix just because to like reset the timer on the automatic system so it was like oh, oh oh it's gonna it's gonna go over to the movie okay no it was not the movie it was something else it's kind of just like tricking the system forever like 10 or 20 seconds so you can see now it synced back up again and i have a different transitions over here and then what i did was i went back to like the regular seasons and i thought what can i add to like reset the timer once again so i just went back and picked out like a small clip of yuki just to add more like emotional effect to it 
but also to reset, reset the timer. So here it's coming up right here. There she was. And that, yeah, that's basically what reset the timer. So towards the end now, this is just the same. Synced up and everything. Because after the battle is done, that's where the visual content ended. So as you can see, this is basically the same. Yep, up until this, all this. So what, I just added that small little clip with Yuki over here. Where was it? Right here. That reset, like that, uh, the, the automatic system to thinking if it was the movie or not. That's my way of doing it. I mean, it's maybe not the best ethically do to do, but still, the system won't flag it right away, so people may actually watch your AMV. So basically what it is, it's just tricking the system into not thinking it's a movie, it's an AMV. Since AMVs are by nature fair use since it's built upon the original work. So maybe, yes yeah, sure, you can, it's not copyrighted for you, but it's still fair use to do it and upload it. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. I mean, edit faster or add different things to, yeah cut in between things to reset. So again, it's like 20, 10, 20 or 30 seconds you can use. It's depend. It's really dependable on what thing it is. I mean, for this I had couldn't use 10 seconds, around one minute even in, in you know, like straight line. I had to edit a lot of different things in between. That's my way of doing it at least. Yeah. Good luck guys. And uh, what's this up here? Um, I don't know what this is, but I'll post it in the description if you want to view it, since it's uh, unlisted. Hope you guys get what I'm saying and how to avoid it. So yeah, until next time guys, see ya!